All right, guys, something a little different today, a little special. I'm doing a 1v1 against the world's fastest gamer. That's right, James Baldwin, winner of the world's fastest gamer competition. Follow him at, at Veloce James. We're doing Mazda Cup at Laguna Seca, my wheelhouse. So let's see if we can beat the world's fastest gamer. Let's do it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, another 1v1. And this time we've got our first American star, and that is Matt Malone, the highly renowned Twitch streamer. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel as well. And, you know, I've not really known about Matt for too long, but I recognize he's obviously a YouTuber for one and two, a very quick driver. So it's especially on iRacing, the platform he's picked. So hello, Matt. How you doing, mate? Hey, James. Thanks for having me. No worries, man. Uh, so as you can see, we've loaded into the practice lobby. There's only three minutes remaining or less than three minutes. So I don't know if you, you're joining yet. I'm in the session, ready to rack. Cool. So we are in the Mazda MX-5, as you've chosen, on Laguna Seca, as you've chosen. And I've restricted it a bit minutes. with baseline setup being mandatory. Um, we've got five-minute practice, not really a practice anymore. Then a one-shot quali, and then a 10-minute race. So um, I like to say it would be fairly even, but I know how quick Matt is on iRacing. He's got an iRating of 4,000. I've only got 2,000, so... Um, yeah, we're on the back foot, but it'd be nice to try and nick a win here. How are you feeling about it, Matt? Are you feeling pretty confident? Uh, well, not as confident as I would if we were still on the old tire model. With the new tire model with the Mazda, it's still a learning experience for me. But, yeah, I'm feeling okay. I love this track, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you kind of been, you've been very nice in the sense that this car, if you don't have a H-pattern shifter as part of your sim setup, you're going to be slower. Um, and you've decided to kind of equal the terms here a bit as I go wide off the pit lane. That's nice and smooth. Um, and you've put all the clutch on, which, you know, I've done that as well. So we should be even on that sense. And I appreciate that. Yeah, get as close as possible. Exactly. Exactly. Do you not, you've been uh, racing on iRacing for a while, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, about, oh, four, five, six years or so on iRacing. Um, I'm just curious, like... Jeez. Um, you probably don't even drive a lot of cars that use the H pattern shifter, huh? Uh, oh, my road car. But um, <laughs> race cars, I've driven a couple. Uh, sim cars. I d yeah, you're right. I mean, most of the sims I'm on now don't really involve that. They're all flappy paddles. So The thing is, like, I do prefer H pattern. It's just harder. Yeah, it, like, it makes it a lot of fun. Like, cars, like... You know the must the old Mustang they got in I racing the Mazda some other cars use the H pattern shifter and it is a lot of fun it's a lot of mechanical stuff like you're moving around you're doing this it it does bring the yeah. immersion level up but yeah most of the cars that are competitive it's just like paddle shifters and away you go. Are you blipping the? I mean I think blipping the throttle's quicker with this particular configuration. Are you doing that or? Yeah and down like heavy downshifts yeah for sure yeah yeah, yeah. kind of stabilizes it. I'll tell you what, here we go, qualifying then. Uh, the corkscrew is fun in this car, man. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I've had some of my best races with this car because I always say the slower the car, the closer the racing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm hoping the slipstream can kind of allow me to keep up with you. Oh, it will. So what's your uh, record looking like with all these 1v1s? You've done quite a few, huh? Yeah, so we've done seven, and... Um, We've won four, lost three. And I actually lost to your old friend Jimmy Broadbent, um, Steve Brown, and to Arav. Uh, I don't quite know how I lost to Arav, but um, the other four, yeah, they were, they've were they all been very close, and that's been the point of them, to be fair. I've tried to set it up so it'd be nice and close, obviously on your terms, on your favourite track and car. So. Well, that's but you can equalise today. Yeah, I mean, you're at a pretty big disadvantage when you let the other guy pick the combo and you're doing all these different sims, and so props to you, man. That's, that's pretty good. Cheers, bro. Try my best. I don't know when I'm going to end it, but I'd like to end it with more wins than, like, losses, but we'll wait and see. There's a lot of YouTubers out there to go and race. Yeah, there are. More and more <laughs> by the day, it seems, too. <laughs> yeah, true. Right. Corkscrew on the outlap. Oh, this is going to be interesting because obviously qualifying doesn't matter because there's no traffic or anything. But I just want to see how far off I am, or if I actually can beat you. I don't know if I will, but I 
I must say, this is the least confident I've been for any of my 1v1s. Really? Yeah. I've got to be honest, I've probably done about two laps, so <laughs> I feel really bad. Come on. So slow. Well, you had to have dri driven the Mazda quite a bit to, in iRacing. That's kind of where you start, right? To get your license. Yeah, that was a long time ago, though, and I always sucked at it, to be <laughs> fair. Oh, that was so bad. Yeah, a lot of people that um, they start iRacing, they get out of Rookie, and immediately just abandon the car. That's no, what I, I did. I stuck with it. Yeah, yeah, I stick with it. I, I just enjoy it for whatever reason. Suits your driving style. Yeah, I can thunderfoot around all day. <laughs> thunderfoot. Like yeah, that. my gas pedal is like an on-off switch sometimes. <laughs> no. <laughs> With this new tire model, though, you got to be careful. It's it's much different. I'm still getting used to it. Come on. I've off tracked it. Oh no, still give you a time though, right? Or it'll show it. Yeah, yeah, give me a time. Oh, well, I'm not going to tell you the time, but. That's Paul. I want to see where it <laughs> stacks to you. <laughs> oh, hang on. It couldn't have been too far off. Well, how do I find out? Uh, press tab, it'll show you. Tab. If you're still in the car. No, I'm not. No! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh... I don't know. There must be a way. What? Oh, go to, uh, click on the far left, maybe laps, and then... Nah, it's not there. I don't know if it'll show a dirty lap. I thought it does show dirty laps, it's just not showing the lap at all. Huh. I have a feeling well, that would have been really close. Uh, we'll oh, call well. it a 141 flat for you. Yeah, if I look back on the stream, to be fair, we can probably work it out. So, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, how long we got? 20 seconds. I felt like that was close. So that's given me some hope. Yeah, I think it'd be a good race. Oh, is this like, have you done many like 1v1s before? Or not really? Oh, I can't. I'd, I don't think ever. No, this might be the first one. Right, I'm going to have to take advantage of that. Yeah. Yeah, you got it's... the experience. You're losing your 1v1 virginity to me today, so I need to <laughs> abuse you. I, like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my lap was fairly clean, so I'm gutted I've done that. Right. Standing start. Still put the All clutch right. in, even though it's auto clutch. You're in pole. 10 minutes. We can do 32 laps with this amount of fuel. We're good. Right, Be ready. Nice. Right. Green, green, green. Blue flag. Ooh. I told you the starts were start. a little, yeah, a little funky there. Watch your right side. <laughs> Left side. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. <gasps> oh no! I've uh -oh. spinned it! Oh, that's that new tire model. An Mate! Oh, it looks like I can't get it into gear here. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, oh, but, well, hopefully we your struggles continue for a bit longer. <laughs> Mate, that was so slippy. Yeah, I'm surprised this tire model is the way it is, especially for rookie cars. God. I mean, it wasn't like that for qualifying, but yeah. When did the new time model come in? Uh, pretty recently, this last season. Call that. Chris, you're going to have to edit, edit that out of the video, mate. <laughs> uh, the beauty of editing. <laughs> oh, come on. 
Well, thank you for giving me a lifeline. Yeah, no worries. And make it more fun. <sighs> Can you damage the engine like by downshifting wrong? Yes. Hey, you should feel that slipstream now. Come on. Mm, it's not that powerful. So, where's the time? I just so I know, I'm not gonna run out of time. <laughs> right, I'm staying with you, so I'm happy. I really could have done with being in front of you at the start, though. Come on! Come on! Almost like everything happens in slow motion with this car. <laughs> I know, you just sat on the straights thinking... Right. Now what? dancing back there a little bit. <laughs> yeah. My thunder foot. <laughs> Don't let this guy intimidate you. Come on. So yeah, you done the Daytona 24 hour, I done the Daytona 24 hour. Where'd you finish in the end? We got 15th place. Um, we we're in a pretty high split though, seventh split with some, uh, you know, some guys that had never ran it before. So it was a great learning experience. It was fun though. We had a Ric Flair uh, hashtag woo car. <laughs> <laughs> it was bright pink. It was amazing. We would have been so close to racing each other then, because we were in split six, and I think we both, me and you, run the Ferrari, didn't we? So, that would have been a good race. Yeah, that was a great event. Uh, well over 2,000 people signed up for it. It went off pretty well. Did you get the crash at the start of the um, server? No, the, the website really lagged, though, a little bit. Ah, uh, okay. For all of us, it was like couldn't get on the website. Oh my god, there's no slipstream! What is going on? <laughs> so far you're making no mistakes. Bit closer now, though. Come on, Matt. Just five minutes left. Hold your nerve. We can win this. We're halfway home. Fuel looks okay. Right. Still got just over half the race, or just under half the race left. <laughs> I'm impressed, man. You say you only did a couple of laps of practice, man. You, you good? Oh yeah, but you're relaxed. I'm on the limit, mate. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, hundreds of people race this race every hour on iRacing. <laughs> really? Everyone trying to get out of rookie. <laughs> I mean, is it notoriously, like, no overtaking or? <laughs> 
usually, no, usually they're pretty good races, you know, it all depends. But most guys, you know, like I said, they're trying to get a rookie, so they just get in these races and they go slow, get no off tracks. Making the slipstream work. <laughs> yeah, leaving the inside open. Oh, really close go. though. Come on. Yeah. And to start defending. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Slipstream is finally kicking in. I'm not used to auto clutch. Much easier. <laughs> Come on. Really, really right behind you now, making the most of that slipstream. Watch out on your left. Oh, oh. Still there. Oh, oh, oh. Door banging. Still there. Still there. We're clear on the left side. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. It's on your left. Left side is clear. You need to push it. Oh, I've just. What the? Let's go for off roading. Don't let him get away. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. <laughs> right. Oh, there you go. Jesus! I thought you were going to then. I thought I was dead. <laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh, now I gotta pass him. White, White flag, flag already! Whoop. Oh, here we go. Oh, mate, you're going to be so <laughs> good for an hour. I reckon you've been sandbagging, but... No, no, no. I use a slip slipstream here. It's working great. Yeah, I wouldn't want to drive one of these in real life in a hurry. Just very, very <laughs> within themselves, aren't they? Yeah, I see these in real life. They're so small. Are they? Yeah. Have you driven one? I drove one of the older versions. I will have to get a good run here. It's quite satisfying to drive though, I must admit. Ooh. Oh mate, I'm sweating my bollocks off here. <laughs> oh mate, you're closing in. I can't believe it. I thought you had that in the bag. Take an extra wide. <laughs> extra wide. <laughs> oh, you got me. Good race. Good race. Good race. Good race. Oh, you know what? That Woo. was just a race of one defining moment. Oh. Yeah, that was fun, man. I love these cars. That's what it's all about, man. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. I can't believe how much they slide, though. I mean, that really caught me out of turn one. And you know what? I'm tempted to, like... I don't know, put it as a draw, because if you just went away when I spun, I wouldn't have won that. No, 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 no. Very hollow victory, very hollow that victory. Race. Yeah, this oh, new man. tire model, like I said, man, it, this thing is way more lively than before, for sure, man. It makes for some good races. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I actually drove Laguna in World's Fastest Gamer with a completely different car to the Mazda. I can't, I mean, it is mental how close to reality the iRacing track is. Obviously laser scanned, 
so that helps. But it's so similar to it. I don't know what American tracks you've driven on. Uh, Road Atlanta and a couple other smaller, smaller ones. Fair enough, man. That's still pretty cool. Maybe Laguna one day in an MX-5. Maybe we'll do it in real life. Me yeah, versus you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm taking a look at that replay, man. That was such good close racing. Going to that left-hander, going up the hill. I should have defended Fun. there. I defended turn one on that lap, but man, that was awesome. Let me see the start quickly. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> I got a little oversteer moment. And I was oh. like, I've got it. Don't worry. And the car just went. I was like, no. I think it's because I was on the marbles. <laughs> yeah, that could be. Yeah, and no, like the tires have like zero heat in them at that point. Yeah, man, I did some I always... off roading though. <laughs> I always thought the the colder the tires and I racing, the faster the car, but I suppose it's not always the case. Well, yeah, it kind of used to be, but now it's changed. Wow, man. Uh, nevertheless, we're five free up against YouTubers now. That's my first two gap I've had. And I thought Matt Malone had it in the bag there. Um, we'll go and look and see what my qualifying time was. And, uh, yeah, I want to see if it was close to yours. That's probably more satisfying than yeah. actually beating you in the race, because I don't know if, how genuine that was i think that was more luck but cheers for coming on matt hey man that was a lot of fun dude i really appreciate you having me hey no worries and uh no doubt i'll speak to you in the future at some point uh have a good 2020 i guess yeah you too man thank you all right well i guess james is gonna keep that world's fastest gamer title for a little bit longer he got me that was such a great and fun race though going two by two i should have defended i should have defended going into there he sent it he made it clean got the pass done i went wide on the kink and uh did a little bit of off-roading <laughs> uh that was a lot of fun though so thanks to james don't forget check him out at veloce james on twitter thanks for having me buddy and i hope you guys enjoyed it